Hi, I'm Lou. And I'm Jim. And we're going to build an ice conversion kit for a Humminbird Helix 9 fish finder. In major parts, we have the Humminbird itself, a milk crate, this bracket that goes with this, a power cord that's made for this, and then some spade connector power cords to go to our battery. This is a 12 volt battery. And this is the transducer. You have two choices in batteries. This is a lead acid with seven amp hours. And this is a lithium with eight amp hours. This has the advantage of being lighter and charging faster, but it's about twice the price of this. So we're gonna mount it right in here so it faces forward and we'll cut the front of this crate out to make room for it. We'll use this oscillating flush cutter. If you don't have that, you can use a hacksaw. There's the crate cut out. And we're planning on mounting the helix right there. So if this thing falls forward on the ice, it won't break the screen. We're going to use this official mounting bracket for the back of the helix. But if you don't have that, you can just use L brackets. This one's obviously way too big, but you can go to the hardware store and get them about this size for probably five bucks. So when it's mounted, it's going to look something like this from the back. And you can see that bracket is about three inches off the ground. So we'll cut a block of wood for down there. There's our block of wood and we're going to pre-drill these holes and screw it down. Now we're going to secure this block with screws from the side. We'll put our battery back there and this 2x4 in front like this. That gives us room for a backup battery. We'll secure that on the side here and down here. Here's the power connector on the back of the Helix and you have to buy this cord from them because it has that special connector and there's just two wires on that end. You can either get squeeze on spade connectors like this or longer wires like this and cut and solder them on. There's our power cable all done and we'll hook it to the battery, red to red and black to black. We're not using a second battery and you really don't need this but we cut a block of foam to fit in there. There's the battery connected and we have the extra wire neatly rolled up and zip tied to the crate. And here's the power connector, which goes on right there. The Helix will work with a lot of different transducers and this one is really not meant for ice. It's meant to mount on the bottom of a boat, but the ice ones are on back order right now. So we're still waiting and we had this one spare. So we're gonna use this one for now and it plugs in just like the ice one right here. And we'll tuck that down on the bottom of the crate for carrying. We only have two cables plugged into the back of our Helix. If you have more accessories, there is this nice little holder that opens up. You can put all your cables in here and then clamp them together. And you can plug them in all at once. But we're probably not going to use this. In we go. And now you can turn this to any angle you want. And there's even room for a rubber cover if you have one. I've got links to all these parts in the description below. Let's go fishing. There's our fish finder. Here we are, you can see we're moving our bait up and down and you can see it on the screen. And there's our fish. Thanks for watching.